the Makadas photo story. This is my digital gallery. Where did this all start? Amateur photographer Kathleen Hart recaptured photographs of Herbert King, a well-known photographer from Tras Tasmania in the early 1900s. In the 1974 publication of Tasmania Remembered featured many of his early 20th century photographs. In 1986, another publication, Tasmania Revisited, attempted to recapture Herbert King's photographs, but not all the camera angles or locations were the same. In 2017, Kathleen gained access to a rich archive of over 1,200 original H.J. King photographs through a friendship with Herb's daughter, granddaughter Maggie. In 2019, Kathleen challenged herself to travel to Tasmania and place a camera tripod on exactly the same spot and recapture the, those images that Herbert King took in the early 1900s. Kathleen's project is called Tasmania Rediscovered. It was after I saw her work that I thought this would be a perfect challenge to recreate a photo story of our famous train Makadas. Our journey on this train ride starts at Tos River Station. This photograph that I took is actually a recreation from two different shots because at that point I couldn't get access to the perfect spot that um, C.P. Lewis had when he took the photograph. In the next photograph, our train departs on the journey towards Ladysmith, a six-hour train ride to return the same day. In our next photograph, Lewis wrote, This was Makadas number 1348 charging out of Tows River on a stretch of the Cape Main Line. In this part of the Tows River, time has stood still. Almost nothing had changed. The vehicle in the photograph is a 1960 to 1963 Opel Record caravan and this it dates the reference to the photograph. In our next image you'll see a distant image of Makadas as the train passes Toast River Dam. It is amazing looking at the water level between 1960 and 1965 and today, 2020, the water level is almost the same. Soon after turning away from the main line at Lateau, the bronze skirted this dam that provides Tos River with its water supply. After the Lateau siding from Tos River, the first um, siding was Noga. Apparently, it's a sand word meaning a very snaky place. And for me as a photographer walking around there to take the photograph, that was certainly w a big concern in February as it's very hot and snakes are around. When I got to the main gate, it is now privately owned land and I wasn't able to gain ex access. I did find a good photo spot further up the road and I recreated Noga as C.P. Lewis saw it. This is a fake photograph. From Noga, the, the, our train ride continues through the Anaisberg uh, Wildlife Sanctuary and Conservancy. So our next stop is at Plateis. Plateis is situated in the shadow of Anaisberg. It had a shop, an old-fashioned fashion petrol bowsers, a school and a tiny village. In this photograph of mine you can see the cement concrete foundations of a water tower that was erected for the tr train after the C.P. Lewis photograph was taken. In the next photograph, you can imagine Makadas pulling away from Plateis towards Lady Smith. Our next photograph is Biffles Drift. 
Maka does follow the Swartberg River along the old Barrydale and Seerbrook Road. Notice in the photograph a little stone building. It was once a home and today it just stands as a ruin. The next photograph is certainly one of my personal favorite ones. Once I started this challenge, this was a photograph I was almost obsessed by to get that perfect image. The mountain landscape is absolutely awesome. I managed to climb the mountain, but I just couldn't find that exact spot where C.P. Lewis had placed his tripod. Nevertheless, I'm very happy with my shot as I got it on that very hot sunny day. In our next photograph, we see Makadas further up the fertile Swartberg uh, River Valley between Winkelplas and Lady Smith. Looking at the photograph, you, sh you should think it is quite easy to find that spot, but it's almost finding like a needle in a haystack. It was very difficult driving along the road. In a previous video, I showed the challenges in capturing this photograph. Remember, the Makadas line from Toast River to Lady Smith closed after the 1981 floods. In our next photograph, it's called a fake photo. Now remember my Noga photo is also a fake photograph. Lewis wrote, We chat to the crew of number 1011 at Toast River in the morning and suggested that in return for lunch in Lady Smith, they might consider leaving the train intact when they got there so as to reverse it down the line when the light on the, the mountain was perfect in the late afternoon. For me as a photographer living in Lady Smith, I can tell you, there's only a good time to take a mountain photograph and that's in the late afternoon. This they agreed to do, however it wasn't quite simple. They had to draw the station master in Lady Smith into the plot as he had to authorize the train to remove into that to reverse into that section. Fortunately, the station master was tickled by the idea, and around 3 p.m., the train reversed backwards down the line and made several run paths for the greedy photographers. And then Lewis wrote, "Perhaps something a bit more should be said. This photograph is a complete fake." That man from Bedwood will say, I told you so. Finally, our train arrives in Lady Smith from Toast River. Makadas is a name that derived from muck and dust. The ref Afrikaans reference to that is root in stof. Other explanations are given, make a dash, and I doubt that, and by local folk the sound of the engine. However, being Afrikaans, the muck and dust certainly relates f much closer to muck and dust. I really hope you enjoyed this presentation and let's see the ghost image of muck and dust in the Ladysmith station and my photograph as I have uh, recaptured my shot. Thank you for watching this video. Carefully read the credits to this video and gratitude to all my sponsors, the interested people, Kathleen Hart and everybody that was involved with this project.